guys, welcome to my channel. So today it is a quick look at this palette, Naked Heat, and I absolutely love it. This is Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat. Now it's the petite palette of the Naked Heat palette. So obviously the full one is quite a big size. I'll try and put it up on the screen beside me um, so you can see. But this one is the baby one and it looks like this. Now, um, excuse the smudges in the mirror, but um, anyway, this is how it looks. And I just love these colors for day-to-day -day looks. And I use this palette most, most days, um, maybe not on school run mornings, but Saturday, Sunday for sure, and on the holidays. So I've been on the holidays now, the, the kids have been off for about a week, and every day I've used this palette and I just love it. So I was getting ready this morning and I thought, why don't I do a look with it? And then just share the love. And if anybody wants to go buy it, I would totally recommend it. I'll leave um, a link in the description bar. That's not an affiliate link or anything. It won't give me any money or anything. It's just a link to Google just to show you where you can buy it. But I totally recommend it. It's one of my most favourite palettes. And I do it just with two brushes. Two brushes in this. So if you think about how good that is for travel, I mean, it's just amazing. This will be coming with me for sure to Elvis Week. I go away in July, I'll be taking this with me. I do take an extra palette because in the night I like to have a bit of glitter, I like to add some stuff, but that's because every night is party night at Elvis Week. If I was going on a normal holiday where not every night is party night, then this would do a fabulous. But yeah, at Elvis Week we go bonkers and party all night long. Right, okay, so I'm going to start with just putting that first colour, the first white one, onto my lid. And um, that's just the base colour. It's going right over everywhere. And I always do that. Now, I think this is about 20 odd pound. I think, if I remember rightly. I actually got it as a gift for my birthday. So, um, yeah, which you know who you are. Because she's probably watching. And it was an amazing gift because I've loved it. It's been my favourite. Then into the second one, which is that colour here. And it's just that transition colour. So, um, I take it right across here. Right up the top. And um, if you're watching my channel, I think I got someone a comment the other day on one of my videos, right? And they said, no offence, but you can't do makeup. Like, you're crap at makeup. Something like that. And I was like, okay, no offence taken, it's all right. Because, so I'm going to try, every time I do one of these videos, going to put a disclaimer in at the start. Um, I am not a makeup artist. 100% not a makeup artist. I am... A person who only really found playing with makeup like this a year ago, two years ago. So that is not a lot of time to be practicing. And there's no way I could go out now and do somebody's face and it'd be amazing. No. Or my own. I just do it to the standard that I like. I like doing it. It's fun. I like doing it on my channel. But it's definitely, mine's are never reviews that you could maybe copy and get this exact eye look. Because you'd be disappointed. But maybe you would like the palette that you could go and use for your own self and maybe your skills are a lot better than mine so yeah and I always direct people to um people who have really good channels like for example Charmed Wench she is an amazing makeup artist her makeup skills are insane Diary of a 40 something her eyeshadow skills are just second to none right now I'm going to go into this a third one here so I've just applied it there and now I'm just going to apply that into the crease just ever so slightly at this side. And I have a total, I don't know if everybody else is the same, but I have a total way of doing my makeup and I never really verge from it. I need to be more experimental I think. So I'm going to take this one here which is the Luxie 205 tapered brush and I'm just putting that here with a little bit of blending. So that bit that I've put down, blend it all together. And that is it. Right. So it's quick. We're doing it real time here. No editing. Woohoo! Right, okay, that's not usual for me. I usually edit because, you know, if I do something like this, <coughs> I'll edit it out. <laughs> right, okay, then on to this colour. Oh, they've all got names. Oh my God. Right, okay, I've had this for a year and I didn't know they had names. See, my husband says I just need to stop and take things in instead of just going like a bull in a china shop. But I am a Torian, so I guess that's what I do. Anyway, the first one that we used was Inhale. 
then we used vibrate, then we used hot spell, and now I'm going on a wild thing. I love it. Right, so wild thing, same brush again, and I'm just doing the same, putting it out on the outer corner and to a little bit of the crease. And then I'll do the same on this eye. My camera keeps doing little wonky things because it's got the ring light. It just starts to have an attack, a panic attack, it can't cope. And then I'm just going back in with a blending brush and blending it in. We're not going anywhere today, we're just going to the shop. I think we have to go for mum's shopping. I do mum's shopping every single week, getting in her all her essentials and that's generally every Saturday because she can't go shopping now so and we take the kids, so it would be horrific if she came because she would <laughs> be rushed. Right, now it's into Heist, which is the next colour along. So I just go along the line, and that's it. And then it's kind of the same again, just on the outer corner. And we're just really um, building up the colour, really, I guess, and getting more and more layers onto there, and then blending it all in together. That's why I love the palette as well, because when you, if you have the big one, you've got multiple colours to pick from, and it's like, oh, what should I choose? But then, if you've got this wee one, they're just all perfect. So you're like, yeah, I know what colour to go for, I know in the colour scheme, and there's no real thinking about it, which I like. And then we're going to go for Strike, which is right at the end, same brush again. And this will just darken it up, which I like. I like the darkening up of it. Um... And you just stick it on right at the end again, like that. This one. Right, okay, now blend that lot in. Do, 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 do. getting messages it's all about the kids going back to school because they've got to make these um welsh things so the boys have had to make garen had to make a castle and eddie had to make a 3d or 2d flag welsh flag so we've done it it's been created oh god i don't know what it was like some shape um right okay so that was our last one and that is Voila, done. So now I just stick a little bit of that first one, which is inhale, across the top of here. Because I always like a little bit of lightness along here. Now sometimes I'll put on a light from the Jaclyn Hill palette or from Jeffree Star palette. But today I'm going to, just going to use this one from the same palette because you really can. You don't need to go and look at another palette. So if you were on holiday and stuff, you could just be doing this. Right, now I always find that a finished eye look never looks finished until you've got your eye pencil on, your mascara and all of that jazz. So I'm going to go finish it off and then I'll be back with you to see the finished look from the Naked Heat palette. Now some people would put a little bit under here and when I finish off my eyes, I'll decide if I do and then I'll explain to you what I've done. But that's it. Right, so I'll see you in a minute when I'm done. Okay, so that is the finished eye look using this little Naked Petite Heat palette. I totally recommend it. I think it just gives you a really nice day look or a weekend look. And it's really inexpensive and you don't really need the full size. You can just do the mini. So I would totally recommend it. I'll put it in the description bar below. I'll put it in the description bar below if you want to follow this. I'm being watched by people in the side of the room, which is really embarrassing. But anyway, I think it's really nice. I put a tiny little bit underneath using the heist which was this one here just put a tiny bit underneath used my eyeliner and put a little bit of a flick some mascara no eyelashes today because i'm not going anywhere it's a saturday i'm only going shopping and then i stick on some of the gingerbread lipstick which i just love by phase zero my husband and karen are in the corner right okay i gotta go but that is it for me and from this palette i hope you enjoyed it it's really really quick really really easy and i totally recommend it bye everyone